We're on cruise control now. That's what I like to hear. It's uh, about to uh, about to be nice, nice, smooth, easy ride. And speaking of nice, smooth, easy ride coming in, I got the uh, voice of Velvet himself. <laughs> What's up? Man? It's our first time getting to commentate together. Actually, yeah, yeah, I've been be I've been waiting my whole life for this opportunity. So <laughs> what better time than to start off right now? Tonight fights. It's the place to be. <laughs> we got Rival versus uh, Kevin H. Rival the trademark Zero Suit Samus. Kevin going this uh, Luigi. Um, I think historically it's been a matchup that Luigi has always been known to struggle in, going all the way back to the days of Brawl, Smash 4, yeah. across the across the table. Yeah, Zero Suit just has a lot of things that negate his advantage, or she just has a lot of range, and Luigi doesn't like dealing with range, especially in this game where you know he doesn't have that dash grab that he used to have, so right. it's going to be tough for uh, Luigi to get in. If Rival plays that safe keep away game, he could also turn up and go aggressive here, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. And the jockey back and forth right now for poor position, good read on... Rival's part with that down smash, and the combo just keeps on continuing. Yeah, he's got him on the platform here. Kevin H trying to get back down. Successfully comes down with the jab. The dash grab not going to connect. Rival's going to flip kick away. Flip kick out of the corner. Flip kick is just <laughs> just really good. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of seems like Kevin's... Oh, that's the first time he's gotten out of a little quick combo break option. But it kind of looks like Kevin's just a little slow to the punch to really corral Rival and keep him in the corner and do anything. And as soon as he overextends, there you go. Takes the first stock. Rival up with the lead. Yeah, really good stuff from Rival. That up the out of shield is going to be the strongest option for Zero Suit in terms of just like kill power. And, you know, it's really quick too on top of that. So you just got to be careful when you are knocking on that shield for Zero Suit. Yeah, and of course, it's just uh, it's still more advantage. Uh, Kevin kind of looks like he's at a loss on how to really pick up everything. Oh my God, Rival yeah, feeling himself right there a little bit. Yeah, that, if he pulled the trigger there, that could have been the stock with Kevin H trying to get back on stage, but trying to land his dash grab, and Rival is not giving it to him. The fair out of shield, and it just feels like Kevin H um, is having difficulty getting this grab, and every time he extends in, Rival's there and ready for the punish. Ooh, the reverse up, almost connects. I wonder if that's going to be kind of what we end up seeing out of a Luigi as a character. Just, you know, that, that very standard archetype of a grappler in fighting games where it's very polarizing. They win a lot of matchups very heavily, then they lose a lot of matchups very heavily. Yeah, I mean, As soon as they're able to get in, they get the wheels turning, but if they can't, it looks really ugly. Yeah, I feel like that's how Luigi was in Smash 4. It was uh, not as even as across the board as someone like Mario, but there are just some characters you can get in on and others where you can't. So both players just wiping out the stock here, flip kick for Zero Suit's rival, and uh, got the uh, back here with you. That was a little unfortunate. I think Kevin had a little bit of a read, but he was not paying attention to Rival still had platform invincibility coming through. Oh, yeah. There's the up smash. Up airs. Ooh, this is a really ladder. Good. Yeah, uh, yeah. Gets the reset, though. Ooh, oh, wow, I'm very wow. surprised he didn't hit that up air. Got that, uh, that ghost hitbox. Okay, catch the landing. No, Rival just going to reset here. The Nair into the fair. Ooh, tried to do him dirty, but Rival just going to pull back on the stage here and look at that flip kick pressure you just run off flip kick and it can catch so many things and it's interesting because i was wondering if rival with so much of a lead was maybe you know might have thought about just going for the downer and kill, canceling both stocks but just right. uh, situationally since he had such a low percent he probably thought better of it speaking of canceling stocks there's the down b flip kick to end it yeah kevin h is not going to get back on the stage and Zero Suit can be so, so tricky, and we saw Mars really abuse that during um, Heart of Battle as well. You know, Mars would like fake like he's going to go for an edge guard, then flip kick. Right. He would already get to the ledge. He can instantly pull the trigger, catch ledge jump, or even like position himself by the roll area with the flip kick. Flip kick just gives your edge guarding and your ledge trapping so much more depth, and it's really hard to react to. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Like, just watching it as a Zero Suit Samus man myself, I just, man, anytime the opponent gets on the ledge, Mars is flip jumping every time, like, you know, like clockwork, and it seemed to work out well for Rival, and, and you know, we're coming into game two. Let's see if Kevin is able to make some adjustments. Maybe, you know, it kind of seemed like, despite Luigi's archetype of being a grappling character and wanting to go in, it seemed like every time he overextended is when he got into a little bit of trouble. Maybe he's able to play a little more patient and just kind of, you know, play his advantage state right now, like he is right now, and keep Rival cornering. Might be in some good shape. Yeah, it's really interesting with the setups as well. We have the Zare, the plunger, setting up for Luigi during these lead traps, and even Fireball as well. So it seems like Luigi got a little bit more tools in that sense, just being able to set up lingering hitboxes like that, which can be really helpful on the lead traps. And right now, it's uh, been Kevin H. The story's been Kevin H. So far, 
And Rival trying to steal oh. a stock right there. The platform got in the way. Yeah. Ooh, right there, Kevin H in the jump animation, so he didn't get grounded. That's another great thing to counteract that flip kick. You can jump. As long as they just do the regular one, you're not going to get hit too hard, and you usually can punish. And I noticed that Kevin H maybe as an adjustment has been going to a lot more Luigi Cyclones and uh, not neutral, but kind of that semi-neutral feel, just kind of like in, in reads. That one was a hard neutral uh, throughout the, uh, yeah, throughout exactly. the down beat <laughs> and got punished for it. Okay, and slowly but surely, Rival bringing this stock back to uh, k killing percents here, almost even. Oh, in the back here, really, really good jump read from Kevin H. They're going to seal out the first stock. Rival trying to battle right back. He has, has him off stage and cornered, putting in all kinds of pressure. And it's right back to where he came from off stage. Kevin doing everything he can to recover. Look at all this safe pressure from Rival. These side Bs, these Zares. It's just really hard, even on the left trap. And the up B out of shield, not quite enough. Uh, Town and City, very, very high um, ceiling. A little bit of change from Smash 4. Yeah, yeah. Rival's probably kicking himself right there thinking, man, that would have killed, uh, you know, like three patches ago in the Smash 4, the yeah, 1.1.7. Wow, the up smash not going to scoop an anti-air, but the back throw does and gets a back air. Rival was looking like he wanted more, but going to back off the back to the stage. That's unfortunate. He had so much pressure and just barely missed the standard get-up option with that down smash, and it put him right off stage and oh. right where Kevin wants him. Under setups. Ooh, green missile. Not going to get that misfire, though. That would have been really juicy. Trying to catch the landing here. Kevin H trying to get this up smash and the fireballs as well. Covering so much area with these fireballs and the forward air. Man, has Kevin H landed a grab yet? Uh, not yet, actually. That's crazy. Been, you know. But to be fair, zero suits are not going to really try to work out of a, work out of shield too much. True, true. Set yeah. up grabs uh, all that often. So it's kind of, you know, it's probably one of those style things that just, that's the Luigi player. He's not as confident going for grabs, especially after how the first game went, but also, you know, yeah, zero suits hard. are just like anti grab, period. That's kind of how they, uh, their archetype of playing by and large. Oh my God. <laughs> Beautiful parry by Kevin H with the upbeat of follow. What a powerful setup there. And, um, yeah, like you said, like just zero suit in general, usually gonna be in the air, spacing out all your different tools. The few times that Rival has been on the ground, he was able to avoid the grab really, really well. Yeah, I mean, just it's so so hard for Kevin H to get this grab, and it's such an important part of Luigi's toolkit now. Even outside of the zero to death, you, you right. still get a lot of damage. This upbeat could do it. Wow, he overshoots oh, it. Little little map quest issue right there. Yeah, <laughs> overshot. Satellite told him to go a little further than he was supposed to. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> took uh took the right one one street down pass, man. Fortunately, you know he's fortunate to get away with a very very to no punish yeah, in that situation. Yeah, you I mean, right now, I don't know the exact percentages, but I wouldn't be surprised if Luigi just popped the zero to death right now. I know it's a little harder, the newer variant, but it's still a thing. Okay, with the fireballs, Rival just taking his time. He knows he has the lead. He knows he doesn't have to overextend into Kevin right now. Who tries to get the tech chase, but the air dodge away. Plasma. Oh, wow, just enough. That was gonna do it there. The side B, the plasma whip. Yeah, looking like a, looking like it's brawl. Welcome back to 2008. Zero suits killing the plasma whip all yeah, over again. Yeah, yeah. I mean that <laughs> that was essentially like her best move almost, right? right? Pretty I, much in brawl for sure. And I don't know. Down smash is pretty good in brawl too. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> it's like true. the polar opposite of uh, of down smash in this game. Let's yeah. uh, let's be real. <laughs> yes, yes.